Valorant's a pretty strange place, and I was just, you know, peacefully doom scrolling on TikTok as any normal human being should do, and I I stumbled across something strange. For every kill you get, I'll give you an ooh. -ooh. <laughs> All right, bet. Uh, oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Aw, you're adorable. <laughs> ooh. <-woo. laughs> ooh. -woo. Oh, ooh. -woo. <laughs> So you can probably imagine the shock and disgust I saw when I found a 25 year old man probably interacting with, I don't know, a 20 year old woman saying Every kill you get, I'll give you- I'm not saying ew, ew, but you get the point But before I start, hello, hi, my name's Shiny, you're watching the Worst Love channel on YouTube And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, comment if I missed out anything or if you just want to comment And also, of course, don't send hate to the people in this video And before you start moaning at me saying, oh, this guy's hit on Valor and you probably never played it I did I wasn't this type. If you check in the thumbnail closely, you can see at least most of them. So if this doesn't subject to you, then it's not subjected to you. Anyways, back to the video. So if you haven't played Valorant and you're more of the CSGO type of person, well, Valorant's very subjective to e-dating. Like, any time I join a server, I see a conjoined username and it's usually one of the worst things I've seen in my life. Or I just see a couple, you know... Eating like get a room bro think of the kids but without further ado let's get to the clip i showed at the very start for every kill you get i'll give you an ooh, -ooh. <laughs> all right bet uh, oh my god i'm so nervous oh <laughs> you're adorable oh my god that is so adorable oh and he's Thank you, thank you. Oh, no, 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 don't worry, you deserve it. <laughs> grass, please, grass, 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 please touch grass, please, please, please. Begging you, please touch grass, take, just t t go outside. And that's 100% one of the worst of the bunch there because of the fake ego accent she's doing and the weird deep voice that he's doing, which if you're playing a video game, half the time the guy doesn't actually have a deep voice. Now, a common trend you'll see here, once a man hears a female in the game chat, then he absolutely starts creaming everywhere, and he just goes insane sweat mode and deep voice mode. Now, after carefully analyzing all this knowledge and information about Valorant players, I have come to a conclusion. I is called, I've made a new syndrome. It is called FDVS, Fake Deep Voice Syndrome. It instantly activates, and it's very critical, and it only applies to men. I'm very not jolly and I'm very not happy to announce, but it's time for the next clip. For every kill you get, I'll give you an ara ara. <laughs> Alright, bet. Ara ara. Oh my god. <laughs> ara ara. <laughs> You're distracting me. <laughs> I'm so nervous now. I've never. Oh my god. Ara ara. Gumbari gumbari senpai. Gumbari gumbari gumbari. You're actually trolling. That was very tough to watch. That was very, very, very tough to watch. I'm actually really glad I dropped the game after about five games because if I stayed any longer, A, I would have either went down this rabbit hole, B, I would have became someone I don't like today, or D, um, I would have just been playing Valorant, which is, you know. One thing to point out, most of these Valorant clips, TikTok shorts, YouTube shorts clips are mostly all staged, like, if you haven't noticed, because... It gets views. If you're really good at the game, or really good at the game, which is why it's staged, you get more views, and then, you know, you get money. But not most of these are staged, you know, I'm just taking the benefit of the doubt that most of them aren't, but if something looks very strange, then it's staged. Yo, any mics? Yo, any bitches? Before we were rudely interrupted, you sound like every generic insta -locker. What? Oh my gosh. Actually branded. Actually trolling. Do you like my Valorant accent? Holy shit, holy skull emoji. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, bro? I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt. It's released in 2021, so the Are you serious right now, bro? Meme was still massive. But it's just so cringe. You gotta see where I'm coming from with this. And this probably is staged because why would you go out with someone like that? Unless I wasn't too high up on the Valorant tier list or iceberg, as many would say, to know this information. 
Now the next video we're gonna see could be up there with the first video we saw because it's someone using a mummy voice and then the guy in the chat instantly as I said gets a wet dream instantly goes ooga booga mode, primitive mode, neuron activation mode and then he just goes all on all fours. Oh, wow. oh, holy fuck Viper! Are you okay? No! Why? What's wrong? Your, your voice is... Mm. My voice is what exactly? A mommy voice. It is, it is a mommy voice. I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. Why? Why you wanna cry in like a little corner? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need a hug, hun? I would actually die of embarrassment if I actually got caught in a public lobby with 10 other people saying this. Now for the next minute or so, we're gonna look into the strange world of Valor and e-dating and just how cringe it is. Okay, I'm starting to even become cringe just by watching cringe. It's like an infectious disease. But yeah, on a serious note, I really have no problem with people e-dating. It's just a bit strange that you're dating someone that you've never seen IRL, because I'm more of an IRL type person, if you get me. But yeah, before I become too cringe for me to even stay alive, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. This wasn't made to hate on anyone, just so you guys can remember that. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, yeah, bye. I love you guys.